hello hi and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to create a very small project and we are going to mimic how an actual music streaming app works by taking some dummy data and trying to stream it over the internet so without any further ado let's dive straight into it so as you can see on the right hand side this is how our app will look like it is a very basic design we are going to see how to create this we are going to uh, what we are going to do is we are going to have some dummy data a list of songs with some data in it and we are going to create this particular ui and as soon as we click on a particular card the music should stream over the internet and, and play okay, that is the goal so i have the project ready with me but before going into the code we need to understand the requirements for this particular project so we need to add few things not a lot actually so the first thing that we need to add in the gradle file is coil so i'm using coil for the images that you can see and nothing else as search for this there is nothing more required in the dependency section and in the manifest we need to add two permissions the first one is for the internet and the second is for the access net network state so these two things are required okay so there are two things that needs to be added the dependency for the coil and the permission for the internet and access network state okay since we are going to use the internet to stream the song okay and this is how the structure for my application or for this particular project looks like you can see there is a data folder there is a ui folder which is having a helper folder and some screens folder okay so let's go one by one the first is the data folder so for this what i have done is i have created a model class or a data class as you can see called song which is having image url title artist duration media generally the duration is not exactly a string it is basically uh, in seconds or milliseconds and you need to convert it to a format to display but for the sake of this particular project i have taken it as string itself then in the utils section what i have done is i have created a dummy sort of database for the uh, songs so i have taken some uh, non copyright songs and i have added this in, in a list as you can see which is how we are having the image url the media image url is the thumbnail that you see media is the actual song path the duration the title the artist so i have taken few songs and i have looped it inside this particular list okay so we're going to use this and generate this entire thing and then play the song next in the ui section you can see we have two folders helper screens and apart from that uh, in the theme section i have also updated the theme so for the primary and primary variant i have added uh, it as the app bar color which is basically this so you need to add it over here and also in the manifest so that the status bar is also in this same color okay so you need to add it over here also as you can see status bar color as app bar color you need to add the same hex code over here okay. so this that is how we are getting that this particular shade of black so once we have done with this these things we can actually start with the creation of the ui and the logic that is behind it let me close all the tabs so yeah so the first things first let's see what is the song helper so next is the song helper class as you can see in this particular class we are going to use the media player which is provided by android to play pause uh, and like to play pause stop and reset the player so we are going to create this particular media player object and we should and we will have a current position variable as zero and when we are trying to play the stream we will take the path of that particular media file we are going to check if there is something that is already being played or not if it is if there is something we are going to stop the media player and reset it and release it in either case we will release the media player and after that what we need to do is we need to configure the media player with the data that is provided to us so the data that is provided to us is this url so we are going to add it as the data source and make make it to prepare in asynchronously 
once all this configuration is done uh, we will add the set on prepared listener so this will listen to the media player being ready to be played and as soon as it is ready we will seek it to the current position which is zero it will start from the starting itself and then will it actually start playing the music okay so to reiterate we will basically default everything when there is a song that is being played we'll update the media player with the data that is provided to us currently we will uh, seek the player to start from the beginning and then we'll actually start the music okay for the pausing of the stream what we are doing is we are updating the current position with the position at which the media player is at this particular moment and then we are simply calling the pause functionality okay so what would happen here is let's say you're playing something for like 10 seconds and then you pause then this current position will be updated to the to 10 second mark let's say you again play it now instead of starting from the zeroth position it will start from the 10th position it will skip this because we have paused it right so there is nothing that is playing at the moment but there is some data in this current position which is 10 seconds so it will seek to that particular position and then it will start playing again similarly for stopping we are going to just simply stop it reset it and update the uh, value of current position to default which is zero for release player we are basically uh, resetting it to the default values and when we are removing everything that is associated all the resources associated with the media player and making it to null and then just updating the current position to zero so that is how these functions will work to play pause stop and stream okay so play stream will basically get the data reset everything start playing pause will update the current position and pause it stop it uh, stop will stop the media player reset it and update the current position and release player will release all the resources attached to the media player and then then set it to the default values okay now let's move to the screens so the main screen is this main activity so here you can see i am using scaffold and top bar so top bar is having the title as music streaming app as you can see over here and the background color is the material theme dot colors dot primary which is the black shade that I have added in the theme section. Okay. So I have created this composable. There are like few composables that I have created for the different sections of the screen. So this is the home screen composable, which is the entire container that is holding this list. So as you can see, it takes in the song list. The so songs list is the dummy list that I talked about earlier and the inner padding. Okay. So if we go to this home screen, you can see it is fairly small composable so here what we are doing we are having a mutable state variable called selected song which will update to the song that is currently selected and we are having a box because we want to overlap few composables so what we want to do is we want to click on this particular song and you can see at the, the bottom this particular card pops up which is basically overlapping two components the songs list and the media player card so speaking about these two components the first one is the songs list which takes in these uh, the songs list that is provided to it and it has a callback function called on song selected which gives us back the song that is selected and update this particular variable okay now what i wanted to do was as soon as the song is selected i want to to show this particular media player card so that is what we are doing here we are checking or we are seeing that if there is a song that is selected if there is some value inside here we are displaying this particular composable we are having some like alignment and some background and we are passing the selected song to this particular media player card okay so this is the list of the songs composable which is displaying this list and this is the media player card at the bottom which is displaying this particular card where you can actually play and pause the music okay so let's start with this let's move with this songs list so here you can see which is having a songs list as a parameter and the callback for on song selected 
and inside here uh, we are having another mutable state which is updated whenever the song is selected so what i wanted to do or what i what i wanted to use this for is to update the ui of this list so uh, what i wanted was by default as you can see this list takes in the entire screen okay there is no space at the bottom but let's say if i choose a song and if i scroll at the very bottom what would happen that the last card would be overlapped by this particular media player okay let me uh, refresh this and i will show you how will it look in the default state it will basically overlap the last section of the card okay so that is why what i wanted to do was i wanted to give some space whenever there is a song selected so that that space would be taken by the media player card so as you can see at right now the last card is at the very bottom right there is only like very small space like 4 dp of space over here but if i choose a particular music then what would happen if i don't give a space over here it would cut this card from let's say at this particular point at this particular point so that is what that is what i don't want it to do so what i did was i am checking if there is a song that is getting played and i'm updating the bottom padding so let's say let's say if i choose this now you can see there is more space at the bottom so that the last card is visible completely that is what is being done over here next uh is the song card which is this individual composable individual cards that you see on the screen which takes the individual song data and is also having a callback called on click which updates the is song selected variable and it stops the currently ongoing song so what would happen let's say if i choose if i click on this it should stop whatever is playing and then play when when i click on the play button so what is happening here is if i click on this particular card this callback will be called uh, it will update this particular card and it will stop whatever is being played and it will also call the callback function for the song list which will add this particular media player card at the bottom so moving forward in the song card uh, we are having a simply a card where i am having a row and in the first section is the async image which is provided by lot by coil i have provided the image url the description the modifiers for it added some space then i have added a column and given a weight of 1f so that it takes much more space than it should take with then inside this column i am having a text for the title a text for the artist and outside the column i have added a text for the duration so the song card is done the list of song is done let's move a bit back to the home screen and go to this media player card so here is where we are actually doing the play stream and pause stream thing so inside the media player card we are having a mutable state called song state and uh, which will be updated as soon as we choose a particular card okay so what is happening here is uh, by default it is false and let's say if it is true that means there is a song that needs to be played this will be called and we are passing the media path to the play stream otherwise let's say if it is false that means we want to stop it or we want to pause it we are calling this okay so inside the card so basically how this will work is we need to update these values so by default it is false okay so what we need to do is inside the card this particular card the design is somewhat similar to this the actual song card but the dimensions are a bit smaller so we are we are again having an async image some space uh, a column of text and an icon over here so for this what i have done here is i have added uh a set of icons actually so so you won't be getting this pause and play arrow icon directly what you need to do is you need to add it which is this we need to add it something called a uh, material icons extended 
So once you add it to your project, you will get much more sets of icons. So it, this is uh, what we are getting it from there. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm checking if this song it is true. That means that the song is playing. I am updating the icon with the pause icon. And if it is not playing, then I am updating it with the play icon. Okay, so by default it is false. So we are seeing this play icon. Okay. We can change it to play pause. Now what would happen here is whenever I click on this particular icon, I'm updating the song state. So let's say it is false by default, it will be updated to true. Now, as soon as it is updated to true, this will be triggered and this will be called. Right. And it will start playing the song. Now, let's say if I want to pause it, I will again click the same icon, but this time it will be updated to false. And since it is updated to false, again, this will be triggered and this will be called. Okay. So that is how we are playing and pausing the songs. And outside this, what we are doing is we are adding a disposable effect. So whenever we are leaving this, compo uh, this uh, composition or this composable uh, component, what you want to do is you want to dispose the, uh, the song help up the, the song, the media player. So that is where we are calling this release player. And uh, we are also updating the value of song state to false. So that is how we have created this entire music player. Now let's test it and check if the song is being played or not. So as you can see the song is playing as intended it is playing and pausing on even on switching the songs we are able to play and pause those songs as well so that is pretty much it for this particular video i hope you got to learn something new in this particular video and if you have any doubts any concerns please write to me in the comment section below and if you have stayed till the end do subscribe to the channel and like this video and i will see you in the next one bye